Okay, gorillas, let's uh, get started and make some pico de gallo. One of my favorite uh, things. Of course, everything's always my favorite thing when it comes to food. So we got our avocados, a little bit of tomato, onion, garlic, lemon, well, lime actually, but salt, jalapeno, cilantro, and my love. All right, let's get it rolling. Let's get started with the uh, avocado. Take this. I'm assuming most people know how to cut an avocado. They don't. You just cut lengthwise, open it up, seeds inside, do a little oops. seed comes right out. And you get a little dingy dong song from the uh, bowl, too. Now, when you're making this, this is a great dish for uh, guests and whatnot. Uh, when you have people over, and um, my thing is, you got to try to time it with your avocados to make sure that they're either pick them while they're get them at the store while they're already ripe, or you're going to have to uh, time it so that they are ripe uh, when you go to do it. Otherwise, you get hard avocados, and it's uh, not very uh, good, and it's not very easy to to use. Okay, so what I do is I take a spoon, so I get most of the flesh out of the avocado, go right in. This one's actually not that right, but it's not bad. I always have a scrap hole on hand. Keep your scraps in, keep your area clean. The flush out. Okay, let me start on with this one. This one just isn't all that right. I guess maybe here in Ontario, our avocados will seem to be the best. I travel in the States and Southern places in the Caribbean, the avocados are just phenomenal. They're nice and creamy. But uh, I work with what you got, I guess. Okay, so once we get this done, Give our hands a quick wash. Okay, hands are rinsed. That's over there. Let's go with our Roma tomato. Um, I only use three small avocados, so I'm only going to use half of this. Uh, so let's just take half for now. And we'll pour these. And again, I like to take the flesh so it's not runny. So I just use a simple paring knife here. Paring knife. Paring knife. Puns intended. Okay, then we just give them a little quick slice. Fingers curled back. Don't cut your fingers. That's a claw, claw grip. I'm going to cut them about maybe a quarter of an inch uh, as far as the width. Take my chef knife, make it into the pinch, please, and just pull it together like that. Just a rocking motion. More. That went in all the way through. I'm gonna have to sharpen my knife a little bit. I can show you. That's pretty good, but. Take your time with it. Not to do the last motion. Take your time. A little scoop on. Let's put that in here. There we go. That wouldn't be good. All right. So now we have our garlic. Nice big, <laughs> nice big clove of garlic. Uh, let's get that in there. A couple slices. Thank <laughs> you. 
hooker so that's okay. Let's throw that in there. Let's go with our line. Again, it's not a very big average measure for me for two people or one of me. It would be good. So, I mean, you just double or triple your recipe if you want. I'll have all the uh, measurements and stuff in the link below, and you can uh, add to it whatever you want and not want. And double, triple, quadruple, all that stuff. Notice how I use the fork to uh, finish up the squeeze of that. It gives me a lot more juice. Okay. Then I'm going to do a little pinch of salt. Let's sit for a minute. Fresh cilantro. Optional, but I love it. Do the roll. And it's quick. Again, just do a pivot method. Keep the point pressed down and up and down on it. And then rotate around as you're going. Okay. Scoop. And last but not least, I'll put some jalapeno in. Again, it's optional. Um, I don't like it too hot, so I take out the ribbing and the, uh, the seeds. Take that out. Nice thin, thin slices. I'm going to mince it anyways. Just give it a nice slit because I don't want big chunks of avocado in any particular bite. So, so get that down, take a few. Salt, a couple pinches. This is where the magic happens. This one there, that over there. Okay, now I use a fork. I like mine a little bit chunky. You can puree it more if you want, but I just ma basically mash down. You see inside, they're all coming together, all this stuff here. Using a regular white onion for this, you can use a shallot. Shallots are a little bit milder in taste, so a little bit like that strong onion taste. Definitely use a, a shallot. Um, this is a quarter medium white onion. And again, I'll put everything into this pot. Again, you don't want the onion to overpower your bite, so keep it nice. Main flavor should be the guac. Let's throw that in there. Okay. Give it a stir. Oh, yeah. Coming together. Look at it. All these 
flavors <laughs> together. So this has been resting, and I've been resting, in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Not me, just a walk. I rested on the couch. Anyway, so let's give this a try. Let's see how many girls we're going to get out of this. Five being the best gorilla. You got five girls, you know what's good. Chunky, got all the flavors in there. A little cilantro, tomato, jalapeno, onion, and onions. Mm. I'm gonna give it a four out of five rolls. Not based on taste, but based on the creaminess. Because one of the avocados were just slightly al dente wasn't quite, quite uh, creamy enough. Um, so I can feel a little bit of that texture change a little bit, but overall it's, it's awesome. So, anyway, see you guys later.